Hello and welcome! Today we are playing World of Tanks Blitz, and this is episode 93 of the Mobile Daily Gaming video, a how-to of tank destroyer that's not a Hellcat, so a more traditional tank destroyer. So let's begin. Alright, and don't forget, you can expect from this channel where we bring our passion for tech and gaming to life through YouTube videos and help people out with reviews and how-tos. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the tank. So, this is more of a traditional tank destroyer. It's considered as a glass cannon, as if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know. I've said that before. Uh, what does that mean? Well, basically, this thing's a cannon on wheels. It's extremely weak, um, but has a very big cannon. So this is something that's not going to want to be on the front lines, but right behind the front lines, supporting the front lines. You get shot a couple of times, you're toast. That's pretty much how this tank goes. Um, where is everyone going? Everyone's just spinning around me here. No one's doing anything. I need someone to be a leader, please. <laughs> so let's see if I can't play this to where it's supposed to be played. Um, I almost always take a shot or two being in the back, but by another tank destroyer, but usually I can avoid most of the fire by the light tanks and whatnot, just by staying behind uh, the friends. Alright. Nice! 740 damage! <laughs> oh, and these guys are sitting right out here for me. Come on, reload! Reload! No, reload! Where are you at, buddy? Come on. Come out just a little bit more. Oh, ammo rack! <laughs> 1,000 damage. Oh, my. That is two amazing shots. Tiger 2 right in the back plate. 620. I am getting amazing damage rolls on this thing right now. So this is pretty much how this tank likes to be played. You sit you sit in the back a little bit. You, you stay away from the front lines, but you support the front lines. That's exactly... I'm doing pretty much exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And because of this, I've made a huge impact on this game. Darn it. I was just taking a random shot hoping I could land it because this guy is about to die. No matter what he does, he is toast. In the next 10 to 30 seconds. Yeah, buddy, you are. Come on. Start going up that hill. Start going up that hill. Come on back. <laughs> they are ganging up on him bad. Whew. <laughs> Four tanks of one. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so that was it. That was uh that is one way to play this tank, you know, so, like wasn't ever on the front lines, but I made sure that when my friends needed the help, I was there to shoot someone and help them out. So it looks like um I did pretty stinking good. I did number one on the team and only got one kill. Wow. <laughs> Almost everyone got one kill. That's actually pretty awesome. I had a pretty stinking good team. Um, that doesn't usually happen. So now we'll go over the efficiency and whatnot. So because this gun is so big, the lowest damage roll I had was 624. Now that's actually fairly uncommon. Usually it's only about 500 is my uh, my lowest damage roll. But I damaged a lot of modules and different things like that. Like this one here, I knocked out the... Oh, I ammo racked him for sure. And then this one here was just a penetration. Um, so yeah, just an awesome epic level of damage that I was able to do a very very quick game um, but that's that's realistically how you want to play if you're not a Hellcat where you have the speed to get out of sticky situations so the Hellcat I uh, where is it I can get out of a situation so I can go up on the front lines but not quite on the front lines with the this one here the RHM I can I ha I literally can't stay on the front lines at all I'll die almost immediately I have no speed and um, it, this is a better support tank so yeah, that's how you play um, the 
classic tank destroyer and that's how they want to be played so if you have any questions about that go ahead and let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe as that is a big portion of what we're going for uh, on the channel, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, but first we need to get to that 300 mark where we'll do our shout outs and everything like that on top of that. Um, also, you could join the chat in Discord if you want to find someone to play a game with. There's lots of people on there that are more than happy to play games with pretty much anything PC, Xbox, and mobile. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you in the chats below.